podcast difference is back. This podcast is a show where we debate incredibly stupid things back and forth, right. whether it's Ash Ketchum versus God, Ooh. or the homeless versus Titty Twisters. Ooh. Right? Yeah, I'm on fire All this right. week. All right. And we go head to head, and the winner is only crowned once Tyus gives us the result of the poll. Okay? That's how the show works. All right? And this week, we're debating what's the best chicken wing, whether that be boneless the pussy eating type of traditional wings which is what this guy fucking took yeah. but before we pussy get in, in wings real men okay wow okay yeah you keep telling yourself that <laughs> uh but before we get into in, into any of that i want to say uh follow the podcast 1722 it's uh the youtube channel 1722 uh it's where you'll get all the information for new past episodes you can let us know if the episode was good or bad uh, let us know if you liked it if you have something else you want to you know us have to talk about in the future i guess right exactly. yeah uh, so yeah, it's on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that jazz. You know, seventy twenty two. And there we go. Hell yeah! And what days do those come? Oh out? yeah, sorry, that's me. That's on me. Uh, new episode seventy twenty two podcast on Sundays, and Vast Difference comes out every single Wednesday. Hell yeah! They yeah. Do. And tell your friends. Two different types of shows we got going on here. Okay, we got a game show and a regular podcast. Okay, what are your friends doing? Exactly. Not shit. All right. So. Help us get successful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't want to be filming this in our living room for the rest of our lives. No. I'm trying to get that studio. Yeah, I'm trying to get a studio where I can bring in the boneless wings and have them on the table and eat them while we're fucking <laughs> debating. Uh, I'd love to have boneless wings there so I could piss all over them. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch. Uh, uh, if you don't know by now, I'm taking traditional wings. Because... Uh, I'll eat boneless, I'll say that, um, but it would never be my choice, and I sure as hell would never pay for them. If someone else, like, when we go to Dad's and we've got, you know, the both going on the table, yeah. I might sneak one or two of a boneless. I say, I've definitely seen you pop a few into your mouth. It would never be my choice, no. and I would never make that my entree and spend money at Buffalo Wild Wings for ten boneless. Mm -hmm. Get the fuck out of here. But I'll let you defend it. Go for it. Okay. I want to hear what your thoughts well, are. Well, it's pretty easy. Uh, before, you know, anyone comes in here and is like, oh, you're adult chicken nuggets. Shut the fuck up with that. That joke's been said since 93. You're old as shit. Don't even say that joke anymore. Okay? That's right. So, when you are eating a boneless wing, you know what you don't have to worry about? Sucking on a bone. Because that's queer. And we don't do that here. <laughs> right? So, when you're eating a boneless... <laughs> right? That's uh -huh. queer. We don't do that here. <laughs> when you're eating a boneless, you're getting all that shit. You're not tasting the gristle. You're not having a... <clears throat> when you're fucking eating it. Right? And that's the worst part of eating a chicken wing. Right? Because as soon as you get that one piece off, you're like, okay, let me go in for the second. That second bite on a wing is all fat or gristle. It's never meat. Ever. Especially if it sounds how like you, you don't do know it. how to properly eat chicken wings. If it's problem. because I don't eat the middle, it's like a corn. I'm not going to eat the two halves on the side of the corn. I'm going to eat what's in the middle, and after that, it's getting so tall. that's the biggest problem here. You're yeah. missing out. You don't no. have the experience of no. a chicken. You're wing. wanting to eat pure fat, not meat. Where for me, mine's just meat. Yours your, has is your gristle, and it has the fucking veins. Boneless and wings yeah. are made up of all of the excess chicken shit. Yeah, that's, okay. I'm not seeing it. It's though. not a real chicken wing that yeah. goes into a boneless. I know that. That's perfectly okay. fine. So with you're me. eating the gristle. Mm -hmm. You're eating the fat. But you know what? It doesn't I'm look like. I'm eating the it, chicken wing. But it doesn't look like, it, and that's what makes it better. I'm not tasting the, the rubber when I'm eating a boneless <laughs> wing. When you're eating a chicken wing, it's like you're eating on a tire. Am I right? Not if you have good fucking chicken wings. Every single yeah. pay per view we've ever had, one of us has been eating a chicken wing, traditional. Uh huh. Traditional. I understand you. what okay. traditional is. Okay. And one of us will go. Oh, that one wasn't. Never had that with a boneless. I've never had to take meat out of my mouth when I'm eating boneless. Where with a regular chicken wing, there's always times where you're like, oh, I got a free shirt gristle, and then you get it out and it's gooey, it's all slimy and shit. It's fucking gross. The chicken wing has triple the amount of flavor. It all rests in the bone. When you get that delicious taste of good chicken actual chicken mm -hmm. okay and then you get it with whatever sauce of your choosing depending on what you like what, what what's let's get into that what sauce you got uh well it depends on the type of mood that i'm in okay uh i'm definitely not no bitch so i'm not going the hot way you know mama <laughs> yeah, raised me better than I that i doing hot sauce yeah. either i'm not going no any kind uh i mean i would probably do it if like if i didn't have a choice i'd still probably eat it but i wouldn't choose it ever yeah. like the yeah. the nukums fuck that anything with nuke in the title is not for me yeah, yeah, yeah. nuclear anything no, the, like uh, that. there's no. a good no. level of hot in my if opinion. the hot sauce is black 
it shouldn't be on the fucking meal because that's way too much. Oh yeah. When yeah, they yeah. come out, the wings are just jet black, and then a dude smells it and he passes out. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that, that ain't for me. That is not for me. Yeah, at that all. shit's too much. Also, that's good. That's okay. Let's go get about it. So here's the thing: when you're eating them, uh huh, you know what you don't have to worry about what? boneless. You're sticking a fork in it. Right? You're not getting your hands all covered. You're not getting your face covered. You're not walking in. That's the fun, baby. That's not the yes, fun. Yes, it is. That's, That's chicken not the wing. Fun. You got to work no. for. You it. know how many hot girls come in and then they see you eating wings, and you're just like, huh? and you got all this shit on your hey, hands. You, know you got what? shit flying I'm there down. To eat chicken wings, not yeah. get pussy. Okay? I don't give a <laughs> fuck what I look like. Well, you're definitely not gonna get pussy eating <laughs> those wings. <laughs> I, I'm not. I wouldn't go on a date eating chicken wings. I understand. <laughs> but if I'm there with my friends, my family, I don't give a fuck what they think. I'm there to work for so my food. So you're telling me. The, worth, the weight is worth it. Having to break it open. By the way, you don't have to eat the corners. You can take your fingers and break off the chicken. You understand that, right? I've never seen anyone And with a that. good wing, you just take your thumb, you break it right in the middle, you press up, you've snapped it every single time. You pull out that chicken, you don't have to suck yeah, it. Yeah, I've seen a video about that. I was like, Hey, oh. you know what, friend? Yeah. If you're sucking it, you're the queer. I've ne- I don't eat wings. I've never sucked a wing in my goddamn life. You 100% have. You and mom used to do the... <laughs> That thing, when the bone comes out, yeah, that's there. a that's an old Blake thing. Yeah, you said, new Blake don't do you that. You said the goodness was in the bone. You're not eating the bone, so you had to you had to have tasted it. You had to sucked on it a little bit. Okay, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> At some point, I guess it happened. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I know damn well, but I know I don't have, do it now. I, I prefer to never, break that shit off. I've never deep throated a wing. Okay, I, mean, I know that because <laughs> over the 25 years of my life, I eat one drumstick and then I'm good for the rest of the month. Hundred percent. I don't fuck with regular wings at all. So much, in fact, last week our job fucking made chicken wings, Asian chicken wings. Okay, I ate Real one. Good. I puked. Like what and, is that though? Uh, what was it? It was a. Uh, it was a. Uh, what type of sauce uh, was it's it? It's like um like an. Uh, I, I guess it's like a teriyaki, uh, and then it's got I don't know what's in it exactly, but there's like there's like a little bit of like spiciness to it, but it's kind of sweet. There's definitely some ginger in there, a little yeah. bit of teriyaki, yeah. right? Uh, and they but they're pretty good wings. And they it smoked good it. If there's nothing yeah. else in there. But yeah, man, I try. It. They smoked it, okay? So, which means for other people, they're like, "Oh, I love the smoke flavor. Oh, you know, it brings authenticity to the meat." I don't like that because it's just like I'm eating a pack of cigarettes, and that's how I felt <laughs> when I was eating those fucking wings. Okay, I, you can ask Blake. I literally came up to him ten minutes after. I'm like, I'm, I'm about to fucking die, and he's like, "What's wrong?" And I'm like, I ate one of those fucking wings, and I've been in the bathroom the last hour. Like it, it was the worst, and I never have a good experience when I eat in a bone-in wing. And Sounds let's just get that like out of the way. Weak. If it's bone-in, never got sick. Yeah, because I have a real stomach. Yours is pussy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is strong, not puking. What are you talking about? Because puking builds character. I'm the king of puking. Are you kidding me? Are you, are you kidding me? Only when you drink. I've never seen you, <laughs> and you eat don't something. Handle it well. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you take. That's what one, I'm saying. No you, one pukes more than you me. You take one fucking shot, or you eat one piece of anything while you're drunk, and then you're in the bathroom for the next four hours. We have to turn up the TV because you're puking. That's so what I'm out. saying. Don't tell me you you puke more than I do. I puke, but I'm only talking about when it comes to, ch- to food, chicken wings. Right. Yeah, I understand that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I can't eat them without getting sick. Boneless, I never have problems. And so much, in fact, we went to Roosters just a few days ago, got 10 of the honey barbecue wings, and they're like, you know, mm, more, fucking... More be, yeah, 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 they're huge at yeah. Roosters, right? Shout out Roosters. Yeah, shout yeah, out Roosters. Yeah, yeah. Same with the traditional. Way fucking bigger. Way more meat Yeah, that's than true. Most yeah, they, they fucking, you know, do you really I can't even get one. through a 10-piece most of the time. Like, if I am, I'm like, really yeah, fighting side of fries. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Okay, here's another thing. Uh, take aside, I guess, the, uh, you know, the, the boneless or the traditional or whatever. Or I guess we shouldn't take that away. But anyway, what I'm saying is, is if you go to, like, let's say you're wanting to go to UFC, right? right. Or football, whatever, at a sports bar, because you're not going to just eat wings just every day of your life if you're not really doing something. I at least I to. wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, but if you're going to UFC, right? Mm-hmm. If you're eating, and again, this is for me. I'm not saying <laughs> it for you. But if you're eating wings, you're missing content. You're missing the fight. You're missing the game because you gotta, and then you gotta get the wet nap, and you're not looking at the screen, right? <laughs> you're, oh my you're, god! You're missing all this shit because you gotta be like, you know, you gotta it's dip. It's valid though. Yeah. No, gotta, it's not. Yes, yes, you, know, you know what I do? 
No, you don't. Yes, I absolutely <laughs> don't. do. No, you Are do you not. Are you kidding me? We watch wrestling every yes. month at Dad's house, getting yes. fucking wings. You want to know how it? And yes. I watch it. That's at the house. I'm saying at the sports bar, not the house. That's why I said at a sports bar. Where the TV is mounted. Where the TV's mounted, okay? No one, you can go. We'll go fucking next week. Anyone inside of a B-dubs or wherever the fuck has buffalo wings, right? You'll go and the people go, and, oh shit, did you see that? No, fuck! I was eating my wing! <laughs> That's what fucking happens. You know oh why? That God. doesn't happen with bonus. Because bonus, I can go, I didn't miss a thing. That's it. You can do that with any food. You, you, you Literally no. any food. But not with wings. Because I've never seen it fucking happen. Every single I've time. I've never once missed anything that I'm aware of, anyway. Ever, while eating a wing. If I want to look up and eat a wing, I can. Yes. It's that simple. But with boneless, there's no, there's none of this. Where with wings, you have to, okay, you know. Dip With boneless, you have to look down, put your fork in there, make sure you're stabbing the boneless. You still have to look down. You could miss no, you something don't. in that split second. No, you don't. You don't have to If you've only got, down. like, three left in your basket. Yeah, you just do this. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah. It's the same. Have you ever seen me watch anime and eat waffles here? I'm like this. Waffle. Waffle. Like, I could be missing it, but I know I'm going to get it. I'm not missing shit on that TV. <laughs> okay. Like a blind man with his walking stick. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, when you go to these fucking restaurants, you're gonna see. You know what? Let's do. I want to do a pull out fucking B dubs. How many of you missed the game? How many of you missed the game in the last ten minutes because you were sucking down on those buffalo? I guarantee you, over fifty people. I think were like, you're gonna may do that, and then you're gonna walk away from it looking like a real fucking idiot. I don't know. Because anyone can eat anything looking up if that's what they desire to do. You can look down to eat anything if that's what you desire to do. Yes. But with wings, you have to do that. There's no desire if... Or Why do you have to do it? Because it's going to get messy if not. It's going to get messy. Let's say this. Okay, okay let, me, let me tell you if something. If you got the sauciest wings. Yeah. Yes, but let me tell you something, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay? If you have crossed the threshold mm -hmm. of deciding that you're going to order wings, you don't give a fuck about a mess. You you sign up. Hey. I, There's a yeah. waiver, a mental okay. waiver. You know that you're in there for a mess. If I'm watching UFC, if I'm watching hockey, I don't give a fuck what yeah. I'm watching. Goddamn NASCAR, for all I give a fuck. I can look up and see Jeff Gordon go around in a circle. I don't have to look down and eat the entire time. It's a wing. Maybe to pick that up, to look up, mm -hmm. and that's about it. Yeah. If I want to look down, I'll look down. If I want to look up, I'll look up. NASCAR you, was a terrible example. Yeah, I was going to say terrible. You, you can look down and you, say, look you can look, still see the same You thing. can look down. <laughs> What's on the TV doesn't fucking matter. <laughs> <laughs> the wings is what matters here. Okay. <laughs> Let me just debunk your uh, your facts right there, okay? 2011, Hell in a Cell. Greatest ever pay-per-view of all time, as we know, right? We went to overtime, okay? A certain things happening during the Hell in a Cell match. You know where I'm going with this, right? Someone bops in. They, you know, cause a ruckus. Guess who uh, missed the ruckus? And they didn't see who came in. And we had to tell them. This guy. That is the we, biggest lie ever. We had told. to tell him because he was literally eating wings. And he was like, wait, who was it? And then Dad was like, oh, it's uh, our truth in the mist. You go, oh, shit. Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> if you weren't eating those fucking wings, you would have seen our truth in the mist. I never even got wings back then, you son of a bitch. That is 100% that that is is true. Bold face. I would always get either a sandwich or a wrap. That's fact. You can quote me on that, sir. Okay? <laughs> That'll be a shirt. Yeah. I never <laughs> once ordered wings back then. Why? Because Dad was like, oh, they're too expensive. Okay, because I didn't have a job at the time, so I had to go according to Dad. He wouldn't let me get the wing. So I know for a fucking fact that whole story is complete bullshit. It ain't. And you will not lie on my show. Okay? <laughs> it ain't a lie. It's the bold faced truth. <laughs> it is not. It is not true. Yeah. Uh, once again, I said, there's nothing that you can't eat looking up at a screen. It's impossible. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. Another thing that I'll say is back to the, uh, you know, if people want to say, you know, like, oh, there's not enough meat or whatever. The the fact of the matter is, is I'm eating to just eat, okay? Mm -hmm. I'm trying to get through that shit as quick as possible, which is why I go for the boneless. I'm not trying to have the little, f in the you know, the flickety flick and the taking off and all that shit. <laughs> right. I'm just trying to stab, eat, get out. Stab, right. eat, get out. And, right? and you may not like that process. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> but that's the selling point of the wing. But not for me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I get that. <laughs> but that doesn't make the wing any less better or worse or anything because it you is, don't. I'm on a time crunch. And if I can get 10 buffalo done, or if I can eat 10 buffalo and be to work in 25 minutes instead of being late for work. When are you going bones, to eat wings before work? 
It's, ever. It's called hyperbole, Blake. It's yeah. a comedy show. Yeah, and I'm throwing it back at you, and you're not keeping up, so <laughs> let's go. <laughs> you can no way eat wings, or have wings made, eat them, clean up yourself, and make it back to work on a 30-minute break, okay? But boneless... You'll have time. You'll have time to smoke a cigarette before you get to work. You'll have time to text your girlfriend, your boyfriend, whatever, before you walk in the work. Because if I boneless, want to do any bit of boneless, that, I can do that boneless, eating wings. No, boneless, 100%. Shaved, boneless shaved off six minutes of your prep time. <laughs> of going back to work, eating boneless shaved off six minutes. But we're not like you. Th- those of us who like wings, mm-hmm. okay? We're not like, oh, I don't like this. This is gross. I don't want to break into this, any of that. For us, we're just as quick about eating a wing as you are with the boneless. If it's what we want because it's what we like, I'm going to dive into those motherfuckers. Yeah, but, but, but what I'm saying is, is you have to get through the wing to get to the meat. You, like you just said earlier, you said that you do the thing and then you pop it. You do the, you know, all that shit. You get all that. For your example, yes. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, you don't have to do that. I'm a drumstick guy all the way. Though. Oh, yeah, yeah let's get there. Oh, God. Anyone out there, anyone out there, like, I'll even say this, and I don't care if it makes me wrong or not, but if you like flats, turn off the episode now. <laughs> because flats are a disgrace to the human kind. No, I mean, I'll definitely eat a flat. No problem. I've but thrown them out. If I got the money and I'm going to get wings, like, it's one of those days where I'm like, hey, I can actually afford to get some mm-hmm. wings. I'm going to spend the extra dollar, usually. To get all drums. Yeah. Just because there's more meat there. It just, for some reason, it just tastes better in my yeah. opinion. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I think w- another thing with flats that is a problem is you can pretty much finger it. Like, if you're about to pick up a flat, your finger's going to go... <laughs> yeah, I've definitely... Yeah, I've done that. And then, you, and then you go, well, <laughs> trash. Get a new one. So, what are you what? talking about <laughs> me? Anytime my finger went through it, right down the garbage. Fuck that. Any day of the week, I will. How do you eat mozzarella sticks, <laughs> chicken fingers, anything with your fucking fingers? What? My fingers don't go through a fucking pussy bone, okay? I'm just <laughs> picking it up and eating it. When you have a flat, okay, you'll go hot and then your teeth will get caught on a roan. It gets caught on the middle bone, and you gotta take your teeth off, and you gotta put your stuff in it, and your finger always falls through the fucking bone. And you gotta... And then your finger, okay? <laughs> covered in shit. Okay? It's covered in shit. Oh, and I'm God. not paying for that. That's why I throw it out. If, you, if it's not drumsticks, get the fuck out of my face. Thanks. Yeah, see? Uh, no, I, I, I don't see, actually. <laughs> I, I like flats. And also... They're not the only food that your finger can go through. Absolutely not. Mm-hmm. My finger have went through a sandwich. My finger has landed in my cereal. Weird things can happen. Oh, yeah, but that's not what we're talking about here. It's not cereal versus chicken. No, meat. no, I, I fucking understand that. I understand <laughs> that. But what I don't understand is you're saying you're acting like a chicken wing is the only thing that you can fucking finger. No, I'm saying in this debate, if you put up boneless up against a flat or a drumstick, the flat, you're always going to finger it first. Because you can't get your finger through a boneless because you're picking up with the fork. So that's not going to fucking happen, right? You get a drumstick, you're, you're carrying on the tail. You're carrying the tail of it, you're eating the head off, right? Your finger's not going to go through that. But with flats, it's a 10 for 10, 100% sure shot that it's going to happen every fucking time. <laughs> it is not. <laughs> yes, it, it doesn't is. happen to me. You're telling it me. It has happened? Exactly. It has happened. Exactly. I'm telling you, out of the 50,000 wings I've ate in my entire life, I'm going to say six. At best, have my finger went through. Wow. Because okay. I know how to eat wings. You just brought up a good point. Okay? Let's let's do this then, if you're so easily, you know, amused. See which one gets more buys. Which one see, gets more buys? See which one, went at like a bar or in general, which gets, like, which one is uh, bought more? Boneless wings or traditional wings? Okay. At B-dubs, fucking dive bar, whatever the fuck. Alright. So that'll give us some, uh, some leeway. Better insight into this. We'll figure this out in a second. Also, got a new laptop. Hope you guys like it. You know, the pods are doing really well. Oh, so. oh, oh. What? Oh, I bet you feel real fucking stupid now, don't Why? you? Oh, I bet you feel so fucking stupid. Why? 31% of Buffalo Wild Wings' cost of sales is traditional wings. Only 13% is boneless. But you know what that means? 31% are a bunch of retards. <laughs> That's what that fucking means, okay? 13% are my, are my fucking queers. That's where they're at. 13% of my bone hoes. That's where they're at. Yeah, fuck that 31%. No, the, the 13. 
The 31, more people know what's going on. They're selling. The yeah, 13 because they're selling to morons. No, that means they're just sitting in the freezer. They're nah. getting freezer burnt. Oh, no yeah. one gives a fuck you about the You think wings plan. are not put in the freezer? I'm saying they're they're forgotten about because there's only 13%. No, I'm saying your wings, motherfucker, are also coming from a freezer. That's debatable. Depends yeah. on where you're talking about. Okay, but the places we've mentioned, they're all coming from a freezer. No way in hell does B-dubs have chicken wings that are made to order. That aren't haven't been sitting in a fucking bin for five days, right? Okay. You're talking about blanching. That's not frozen. I'm saying it's still from a walk-in. All wings, yeah, come in fresh. Mm-hmm. Well, most of the time, unless it's like, I'm sure rallies because they have wings. I'm sure they're frozen. Yeah, but a restaurant, they come in fresh. You blanch them, mm-hmm. put them back, mm-hmm. then you recook them. Oh my then god, you, serve you them. are the grossest. that's every restaurant that's ever. So fucking gross. I promise. That you. means that you're eating day old food it's blanched i don't know what that means why are you saying like blanched it's a nickname? is half cooked oh my god okay. that's fucking gross. and then you cook it the rest of the way it's no different than you can do it with baking as well people will like put in a casserole and be like okay i'm gonna cook it this long i'm gonna redo the rest later you can do that with anything that's the nastiest if you want to do it in you my really entire couldn't. life but does that not you gross you out um, that makes me want to legit cut back on a lot of fucking food when I'm going to a restaurant. I've just been doing it so long that I think I'm just used to it. But I guess in theory, it's, it's gross. disgusting yeah. because it's chicken. That's or not not even chicken. Take the fucking chicken out of the thing. It's meat. If you got broccoli that you fucking took, sure, whatever. It's a vegetable. But meat that you're gonna cook, <clears throat> freeze, and then cook it again when it's already got shit on it, frost. That's disgusting. Right, but I mean, it's the same as like going to a restaurant and then they cook the food and then it sits in a warmer and then it goes out. No, what's yeah. the difference if it's I, sitting? I, there, I, I, like, I agree. I agree. That's shit nasty too. But I think it's even more gross when you know that like that shit could at least be said that you know oh some stuff was made to order. This was fresh. Boom, cooked. Here you go. But with the wings, it's like okay, it was cooked <laughs> yesterday. Now we're gonna finish it today. Then you'll get the partially fresh product, but it's not really fresh. Right. right. Most and places, I'm saying, it is not the day before. And you I, do it the morning on a busy day. You'll make them fresh to order on, like, your, your like, Wednesday night or something. Mm-hmm. Unless it's sports yeah. season or whatever. Uh, and then if you have a restaurant where you're doing, like, all you can eat. Mm-hmm. Like, if you have a night for that. For us, at the ones I worked at, it was usually Tuesday nights. We did yeah. trivia, all you can like eat. Like the 50-cent wings or whatever that shit. Yeah. Right. So then... Uh, on a night like that, that's when you blanch them because you know it's just going to be a constant influx. Yeah. Because you know you're going to run through those at some point and then you have to make them 100% ready to order anyway. Yeah. It's really just to get ahead of the curve mm-hmm. so you're not behind for the entire night. That's really what no, it's I mean, I, I agree because it makes sense in the, the term of, you know, prepping and all that shit. But it's the same as when I worked at fucking Five Guys and they got fries and, you know, soaking water for a day. And then everyone's like, yeah, that's just how you make fries. And I'm like, how the fuck are you okay with eating fries that have been in water? The fuck's wrong with you? It's the same with eating a wing. You're eating a wing that was covered in ice. You're a fucking moron and you deserve better than that. <laughs> All food is grossly prepped most of the time. Yeah. I, in some weird way. But I'm saying, these are way... Like, this is more disgusting than, like, when... Like, let's say, if you're making hamburger meat, right? Right. That's raw. I'm okay with that, that you're prepping that days in advance. But you are cooking a raw product... Or not even cooking it. You're half cooking it, right? Mm -hmm. And then you're cooking it a day or two later, or you said later that night. But I promise you, everybody watching this who's never worked in a restaurant is going to be real let down when they fucking discover that their wings were not from that day when they ordered it. Because I promise you, I'm sorry to let you behind the curtain of the kitchen. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Any, Any one of your, you know, football games, soccer games, any of that shit, that's... You know, that's the point of it. But I'm just saying, I genuinely feel that if a lot of people knew that, they would be cutting back on wings a lot. I don't think they would because they yeah. taste so fucking good. It also, I just want to say this. You want to know how bad chicken wings are? Do you ever see people just making them from scratch at their house? Make, what do you mean making chicken wings from like scratch? Like, no one, you don't know anybody that goes and buys like a 12 thing of drums and flats comes home, cooks it, deep fries it, does the whole thing, you know, don't do it in the thing, because they're like, no, I want to go to a restaurant for that. I swear to God, I'm about to flip this goddamn table <laughs> right fucking now, okay? You know, 
you know for a goddamn fact. <laughs> yeah. Most of our life, mm -hmm. mom made no. Okay, you want to get down to that fucking ways. shit? No, no, no. At home, that no, no, is no. fact. No, no, no. So don't say you don't make those. Them at home. Those are shit wings. Those are okay? chicken wings. No, no, no. What we're talking about is fried bar food. What she made was we're talking much... about traditional wings. Yeah, I never said bar food. I am. I would. I'm only talking about that type of shit. What I'm saying, like mom doing it, does it's not the same because she's putting them in a casserole thing, putting barbecue sauce on it, and then be like, "Here's chicken wings." <laughs> well, that's not true either. It is. She would put a base of brown sugar, chicken wings. She would barbecue cook the sauce, chicken wings first, and then barbecue again. Sauce. Cook gross. the chicken wings halfway. Uh huh. Then you put the stuff on there so it all cooks the rest of the way with it all on there. That's how it works. Every goddamn time. The things you spew about the things you know nothing about <laughs> really <laughs> piss me the fuck off. Either way, no one's bringing chicken wings home to fry just for a late night. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> I 100% would. Okay. Okay. All right, Blake. This Friday, I want to see you. I used to make chicken you, wings at home. I want to see you go get the biggest thing of tenders or whatever. You come back here and you eat every single one of those. You eat every single one that you buy. <laughs> what the fuck does this have to do with anything? Because you're not going to do it. Because you're not at a restaurant. When you go to a restaurant, you're like, oh man, I'm, so I'm trying to get some wings. So if I go wings. to the store yeah. and I buy a pack of wings and mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I want eight out of here yeah. for tonight. Mm -hmm. That's not okay. I have to eat the entire thing no, of wings. No, because it, you would be proving my point. If you don't eat it all. Then what's your goddamn point? If my point is, is no one can bring wings home and have a full meal. Like you just said, you're like, oh, I want to cut it in short. No, when you go to the restaurant, you don't have to. You're eating that right there, right? But if I don't finish it, then I'm just bringing that home. So what you're, I'm saying is if I buy in a home, traditional wings home and yeah, warm them up. Yeah, yeah, I do. The fuck? Yeah, I do. The okay. fuck? I will bring them home. Only molesters no do that. <laughs> <laughs> My God. Don't let them be around your fucking kids. <laughs> I would buy what comes in like a pack at the store. I don't know. Let's say it's 30. Six pack. Okay. It's not a six pack of wings. I can promise you. <laughs> no, but it okay. should be. I'm not sure they have a six pack of wings and a six pack of Coors. We're going to say 30. Uh -huh. Okay. I'm not going to allow, if we're all eating wings, I'll cook 30. Mm -hmm. Okay. But if I'm making just enough for me, eight, if they're good size. Now, mm -hmm. if they're the tiny ass wings, then yeah. we might turn that into 12 to 14, mm -hmm. depending on how they look. Okay. But there is no way that mm -hmm. you can tell me. That no one would bring them home. I would gladly eat that shit. No problem. And I used to do it. Back at mom and dad's house, I had the deep fryer. And I would throw wings in there. And then I'd go and I'd get some sauce. And then I'd fill up a pitcher of the sauce. And I'd shake that shit up. And it always came out good. Maybe not to you. Yeah, I was saying, but there to we everyone go. else yeah, in the house. Yeah, say, you because you don't like you. wings. Yeah, I mean, it's the same thing. I don't like any type of fucking wing. So don't, don't think it's just for, you know, chicken wings or whatever. I don't like fried chicken at all. You will never see me eat that shit. I will never eat a fucking rotisserie. It's on a fucking bone. There's no goddamn point. Anything that's on the bone is not your, not entering this slop hole under <laughs> any circumstances. Because that shit is fucking nasty. Uh, but you're not eating the bone. Doesn't matter. I have to touch the bone to eat the food. And that's so horrifying. It's pretty much like me going out, killing a dog, breaking its neck, and then I just drink the blood. That's pretty much what I'm doing. <laughs> that's what I'm doing when I'm eating oh the chicken. Oh, my wing. God. You rip it off, and you're just eating it. That, that like, But ugh. the boneless wing has all the same shit. But it doesn't have a bone. And I don't want to hear shit about, like, it has the excess. I don't give a fuck. I eat hot dogs, and they come from pigs' vaginas. I don't give a shit. I'm eating the food. Because I don't care what goes in it. But you can't but talk about what's chicken gross wing, here. I, I can. When it's way more... There's guaranteed way more gross stuff inside of a boneless wing. But it doesn't taste like that. I'm not tasting the bone. Like he said, you when you're eating a wing, you you eat the bone. Like you don't eat it, but you taste it. You When you're eating a boneless, you don't have any of that fucking calcium swishing through your mouth like it does on a chicken bone. I've never experienced any of the things that you're talking about while eating a wing in my life. You've never <laughs> tasted a bone when you're eating chicken? That's yeah. all I taste when yeah, I'm eating We chicken. already went through yeah. this 10 minutes ago. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I'm saying. I have. Yeah. But I've never ate the bone, tasted the bone. The bone, the meat that sits on the bone gets more flavor. It's the same when you're making a soup. You throw the chicken bone in there and let it simmer, and it tastes way fucking better. Everybody knows that. It's the same thing as if you're making chicken stock. Throw some bones in there, okay? Take the bone out once you've had it simmering for a while, okay? So, 
you're boneless has all the same shit. It's just condensed yeah. without that bone. Okay, mm-hmm. but I almost would guarantee, and we can look it up if you want, that there's probably boneless, and especially like I don't know about bar boneless, mm-hmm. but if you're talking like the stuff that you would buy at the store, mm-hmm. it's probably got bones in there that are just broken up. Yeah, it's fine. That's fine with me. I don't have to take it off. You can take the chicken off the bone if you want. But that's what's the problem is if I have to take my food off of something, I probably shouldn't be eating it. <laughs> oh my god. You want to know why? Because if you're eating a burger, you don't have to take the burger off the cow's fucking calf. Right? With a chicken wing, you're taking the meat from the fucking bone. Okay, would you eat a T bone steak? Never in my life. You just wouldn't cut around nope. the bone. You would see me go, whoop, give me a burger. Give me <laughs> <laughs> give me some yo play. Like, I would no way fucking eat a T bone steak. You, if, and I promise you now, anyone out there, take me to a nice restaurant. If a bone touches my plate, you're paying for the food, and I'm getting up and leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing with the bone. You'll Never eat. in my life. I find that hard to believe. Yeah, it's and, and be so fun. much because I don't send food back, right? Right. But, but if I taste a bone, not eating. I'm just gonna let my food sit there. It's not eating the rest of it. Fuck that. Because I have had bones in my burgers before, and that shit's fucking disgusting. Because they, you know, the mix. A bone and a burger? Yeah, like, you know, when you're, like you said, like the chicken, like the little fragments. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've had that, me and mom have had that in burgers and shit. Why? Because people are just chopping up chicken wings and bones. That's fucking why. Because people want to get boneless. They don't want the bone. So, let me understand this. You think that chicken wings are made on a grill with where the burgers are cooked at? No. <laughs> no, no. Is that not what he just fucking said? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I was trying to follow, but <clears throat> lost me at, like... Okay, I'm saying... Like, oh, I was sorry. following you in the second half, but whenever you was talking about the burger at first, I was trying to have it come back around, but, yeah, I don't... I don't and know. the entire... The whole... Uh, what is it? The, um... What was it said? Uh, not... I want, not Colton's, but what's that other, like, fancier place in E-Town that we used to go? Tumbleweed? Yes, Tumbleweed. Thank you. God damn, that place was fucking good. Sounds good. But, uh, yeah. R.I.P. to Tumbleweed. It's not there anymore. Oh, damn. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. And that was still one in Louisville. So <laughs> many emotions went through there. Oh, damn. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but I remember eating it, and me and Mom literally maybe, maybe 30 seconds apart were like, oh, and then a little white fragment. Little white fragment just hanging in there, <laughs> little little tooth, right? A little tooth from a baby cow or whatever. Gross. Never yeah, had that in a chicken quesadilla. Yeah, I'd be pissed if that happened to me on a burger because it shouldn't be there. Yes, that's what I'm saying. But chicken, it's what you expect. Yeah, because you see it. Mm-hmm. But a burger, I don't know why there would ever be a that's bone in a burger ever. Yeah. It's just a disgusting thing because they don't make it fresh. Yeah, unless they smashed it, like own it or something. I don't yeah. Know. <laughs> <laughs> that's the only way actually someone has a bone on the grill and they're just making patties on the bone <laughs> so they were chopping up the little fragments so they just like, smash the patty on top of there like, alright these burgers are ready to go <laughs> oh, that's disgusting. that is that literally churned my stomach seeing someone try to just mush it into fucking bones I don't know where we're at if we need to keep going or not <laughs> alright well, let's see who won this one is it traditional or is, is it boneless? Bum, 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 bum. One second. So let us know in the comments if you like this episode. If you would rather choose boneless or traditional, what your favorite flavor is, because we all know it's not lemon pepper, because lemon pepper is the worst fucking seasoning. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. So I got it. Uh, all right, where are we? Make at? sure to vote in the poll next Sunday, every single Sunday night. Seventeen twenty two Instagram has a poll out for vast difference. Okay. The consensus is everybody loves wings because it's a tie. Six, oh shit! Six six. Oh shit! Our first our ever first tie. tie. I mean, if it was gonna be any, you was... know what that means, though. Yeah. In my opinion, that means at some point we come back to it. Yeah, round two. Okay. Round two. But thank you very much for voting. Yes, thank I'm you. okay with the draw because that means that we got interaction, and you'll never know how much that fucking means to us. So yeah. thank you. Um, it was it was a good one. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm sorry that we have no resolve. Yeah, but we will bring this back later. We will have a, a steel cage match rematch. It's not goodbye. It's see you later. That's right. See you later. Peace. <laughs>